What's up, folks? So I showed you how to file a chain on a pole saw modestly, not aggressive, to have a nice smooth job for pole saw tree pruning. Um, and that's what we're getting ready to do now. So I just got to load up a couple things um, in the truck and then we're going to uh, head on over and do this job for this uh, client. She's a new client of mine. Um, this is the neighborhood where we've done tons of work. So let me see what we need there. We're just gonna do a little bit of garden bed maintenance too. So let's grab some tools here. The axe, I wish we needed the axe, but we don't. Oh, does anybody out there have any axe heads? Um, that would fit a boy's head, a boy's handle. 28 inch, here's the size. If anybody has a, an ax head that would fit on that, um, let me know, just a light little one and a quarter, one and a half head, let me know. When I first got a trailer, to do landscaping, I wanted to use it all the time. And now that, you know, I'm doing it more and more and more, I look forward to the jobs where I don't have to use it. All right, folks, so here we are. We're gonna take care of this palm tree here. The landscaper was thinking volcano instead of donut. You wanna always leave a little basin right here for your mulch, for your tree to breathe. We're gonna elevate this, get this stuff cut up out of here. We're gonna treat these weeds, put a nice landscaping edge along the beds. We're gonna pull out a couple things around the back here so that they can put a, a, a walkway, a paver walkway going along the side of the house here. And then we're gonna prune up this tree here too. Um, so yeah, we're gonna fire this thing up and get going. <laughs> Be very careful when pruning these because look at the look at the barbs on them. If that comes down and catches you, you're gonna feel it. Later on in this video, we're gonna do a little segment on filing the, uh, the pole saw and how it's a little bit different than filing a chainsaw. Uh, you want it to be more modest. You don't want it to be so hungry with the wood chips being big. you folks yet but uh you know I love what I do being outside and there's a lot of older folks that live in these HOAs um you know they lost a spouse or something and they just can't maintain their their landscaping anymore um this whole landscaping thing means a bit more to me than probably meets the eye I love being outside for many reasons um reminds me of my childhood spending time outside with my grandfather and my grandmother learning learning about grass learning about trees learning about birds and stuff like that my grandmother used to love to watch birds so i got i got a soft spot for the elderly but what i'd like to do is somehow i don't know how i'm going to do it yet but be fortunate enough to be able to give up some of my my time to just help um someone in need in these hoas because these hoas they don't care how old you are your situation if you have a palm tree or a lawn or something that's just overgrown and isn't appealing, somebody will complain 
and they'll start getting two, three, four, five hundred dollar fines a month. And uh, these old people living off uh, social security and and uh, disability, you know, their retirement, they can't afford that stuff. So I would like to be able to once a month give away a free yard cleanup just to help these people out. You know, they, they did their time, they, they worked their life away. Um, and I just want to give back to them. Uh, makes me think of my grandparents. So if anybody has any ideas, what I plan on doing is doing it for free. But uh, I really want to help some people out because in this neighborhood, they were getting, these are young folks and there's nothing really wrong with this property, but a couple weeds in this overgrown palm tree. And they were getting notices from their HOA. So I know a lot of old folks were in worse shape. So let me know. Let's fire up the next tool and get going on that. Big difference, huh? I think idle is so high when that thing's on it. All right, guys, so we're almost done. Listen. You know how I always say, when your back's against the wall, you know, dinner's getting cold. And you're out here working. You better be doing something you love. I'm gonna finish up this tree. Thanks for watching, guys.